A noble writing set, or not? Is it worth its price, or is it even more valuable? Hello, my name is Chris, and this is Writing Delight. Today, I have from the company online a writing set here that I will look at once in detail. And this one comes in the simple packaging. The writing set consists of fountain pen, ballpoint pen, and a case. And you can tell right away, it's not one of the typical school fountain pens. The ones that, unfortunately, too many people still associate with the online company exclusively. These pens are part of the Eleganza series. There are some color versions, and of course, the pens individually. But here it is about the set, because this one is particularly worthwhile. I have here the latest version, which is very classic. Matte black body with gold decorative elements. As you know it from many classic writing instruments, that's why this is the online Eleganza Classic. As mentioned, this set consists of a fountain pen, a ballpoint pen and a case. And the first touch reveals, the pens are made of metal. But let's take a closer look at the fountain pen. The fountain pen looks quite slim and has a rather classic shape. The cap and barrel are matte black. Decorative elements like the clip and the decorative ring at the end of the cap and the beginning of the barrel are gold. The clip goes all the way into the finial and is spring loaded. Under the black cap, a grip section emerges that is metal but has fine grooves. The nib is silver. Also, the pen only comes with a medium stainless steel nib. It is designed as a screw in nib element. And online sells the nibs individually for very little money in the store. So you can easily take other nib thicknesses. Like actually all fountain pens from online, this is also a cartridge fountain pen. For standard international cartridges. The ballpoint pen is very similar. By turning the cap, you extend the mine. But a special attention deserves the case. Because this is made of real leather. That's right, genuine leather. It's quite slim, but the fountain pen and ballpoint pen fit nicely in here. But the size may be deceiving. Because the fountain pen fits in here, for example, together with a Pelican M800 without any problems. And yes, the case closes and opens easily. So it just seems small. The case is absolutely neatly finished and only the embossing on the zipper reveals online. But a few more details looked at closely. The clip has the online lettering embossed on it. The online typical plain nib is well made, as you can see here from both sides. And once the grip section. This grooved surface is pleasant to grip, but clearly ensures that you don't slip. So maybe something for people who don't normally like a metal grip section. Lengthwise the pen is good, and it feels good and balanced in the hand. The cap can be posted, but I personally don't really like that. But that, like many other things, is of course a matter of taste. The nib writes well, as I have come to know it from online, really. We don't have a lot of line variants here, which isn't necessary, but a little is definitely achievable. By the way, the brown ink from online is filled in here. The nib glides pleasantly over the paper. Let's take a look at the fountain pen in its length as well. We have it here together with the Visconti Homo sapiens, a Pelican M815 metal striped, a Cross Townsend, and Pelican P205 and the Lamy Safari. With the cap removed, it is the shortest fountain pen here. 
which is not really the case when it's closed and with a cap hosted. But it's not really short either. In the second comparison, it is up against a Platinum Plaisir, an online Bohemian art, a Kaveco student, a Diplomant Excellence A plus Wave, and an Otto Hood Design 04. Here it is well in the midfield. For my test, the Eleganza is easy to use even with larger hands. It is not very long, but sufficient. And as already mentioned, this is a metal pen. But it's not particularly heavy. It definitely has a quality feel to it. It feels good in the hand. Honestly, it feels more expensive than it really is. Because the Eleganza is not expensive, but more on that later. The Eleganza is available in several color versions. But only with a medium nib. That's not great, no questions about it. But they are very easy to change screwed nib units, and you can even buy them directly on the website. Are the nibs any good? Yes. I have had quite a few nibs from online, and they write well. They are sturdy nibs, that writes well. They are actually suitable for all people. Yes, the fountain pens and also the nibs are not expensive. But they are not cheap. They are inexpensive. But I like writing the fountain pens with these nibs. Can you really expect good nibs for this price? Yes, you can. Of course, you may be more likely to get a nib that isn't optimal than with fountain pens that cost hundreds of dollars. But here, too, these are exceptions, of which I personally have not had any. What I like very much here is also the grip section. This is ripped, a small and fine ripping. It is noticeable, but very pleasant. I personally have no problems with grip sections made of metal, but I know that there are some people who do not like this, mostly because I slip on it quickly. Maybe this is different with this grip section. I can't relate to that. But to whom this is normal and know this pen, feel free to write me below how the grip section is for them. Let's move on to a point that particularly surprises me about the set, and in a positive way. The case. Of course, there are the pens to buy individually, but also in a set with a case. And it's a genuine leather case. So you get two pens and a genuine leather case for under 30 euros, in which a pen the size of a Pelican M800 also fits without any problems. If you are honest, you usually pay more for such a case. In my opinion, the pens are much higher quality and better than the price suggests. This set is just positively surprising for me. Do you have pens from online? What is your opinion? And especially, do you like the slightly ripped grip sections? Do they help you, or rather not? In any case, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. As always, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It would make me very happy. See you next time, which will be in two weeks.